So in this video, I'm going to check out the new PlayStation app, and I'm also going to quickly run by a quick walkthrough of how I got access to it. It's not on the Google Play Store, even after uninstalling and reinstalling it. This is just a quick, quicker and easier way to get access to it, and it's safe. And um, I was able to test it out, and I was able to successfully download it. And I'm also going to show some portions of the the new app that we have for the PlayStation app. If you guys want to get access to it, I'll drop I'll drop you guys the link to it if you guys want to get to it. So to save you the the time, and uh, if you guys don't want to listen to me talk, you can just click the just drop the I'll drop the link. And then I'll also be able to have the walkthrough of what I did. So the first thing you want to do is just uninstall the PlayStation app, the old version of the app that you have in the PlayStation Messages app, because it's no point in having that, given that it's already going to have all those features carried over. So you want to just Google PlayStation APK download, and then you're going to head on down to the, the second link. It says up to down. And right there, as you can see in purple, because I already uh, clicked on it and downloaded it and all that and installed it. Um, it has the new version of the PlayStation app that consists of everything that's with the new features, the new look, redesign, everything that you are looking for for the new PlayStation app instead of just being stuck with the old version. So just click on uh, the link and you're going to head on down to the uh, latest version right here. And see, see where it says... It has the older versions right there, but click on where it says latest version. See. And now see that green arrow, it says download. So once you download it, it shouldn't take too long. You're going to have the new PlayStation app installed on your Android right away. And um, since I obviously already have it, um, that's basically how you get access to it. So now you're just going to go into your tabs. So I'm just going to head here because I already have it downloaded. So once it's, once it's successfully downloaded, you put it, you sign in and all that, but you're going to make sure your prompt is going to prompt you to, to make sure that uh, the app is safe. If that you want to safely install the app on your, for your phone. So you're just going to just, head into your settings and make sure you can hit the source from this source only to have it set safely for your phone so that's how i end up getting it if that makes sense for you guys so it was just quick and easy just google it and then click on the link and then just download it and once you download it just make sure you uh, you allow it to be installed into your phone safely so no no any no hidden tricks or anything like that. No the um, anything extra that you have to do. And once you download it, you're just gonna have you sign in, put your information in for your PlayStation Network, and then here you are. So here's the new app. So this is my first time seeing it. So I'm just gonna explore it. See, I can see what everybody's playing. He's playing Overwatch, Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, the new FIFA 21, Star Wars, Abs Over. That used to be a PlayStation Plus game. Need for Speed, bay, uh, sp Payback. <laughs> Almost butchered the title. It even shows the games that I'm recently playing. Recently played. I'm about to play some more Tsushima in just a few minutes. Because I'm at the end game. Friday the 13th, I was playing the other day. I might even play some more later. Vampire, or Vampire, which I'm really enjoying. It shows all the trophies I earned so far. Trophy progress, all that good stuff. See, now I have my notifications. I'm not going to click those messages at the top left. Friends and everybody that's online. It's pretty sweet. So let's uh, let's check out these features. Let's head into the PlayStation Store. I could do that first. Let's go here. Let's go from left to right. So PlayStation blog, official news, new Demon Souls gameplay reveals bosses, locales, and more. You can stay up to date with all the things that's going on. See, here's the app. See? And then the new PlayStation Plus games that they revealed. Bug snacks. <laughs> Bug snacks. <laughs> but this is going to be a free-to-play game for PS5 and then the other PlayStation Plus games that they revealed too. So you can stay up to date with all the news that they have that's PlayStation related. Middle Earth Shadow of War and then Hollow Knight being the PlayStation Plus games for November. Stand against the end of the world and try as a Midgard. Hey, it's, it's like Pokemon with Tim Tim. 
makes his console debut. I might even try that game. But see, that's the blogs and everything. You get official news at the top to stay up to date with everything PlayStation. All just new updates, you know, PlayStation news, all that stuff. Let's go to the store. So I just wanted to check it out too while I, while I show y'all how I got access to it. Watch those legions out now. See what's hot. You can see what's new. New game Spider Man, Miles Morales, Jeopardy. There's days going. I like that game. See all the stuff that's coming soon. Dirt Five. Let's go, let's roll through these. Valhalla. <laughs> VIP Edition Fuser. Planet Planet Coaster. Sakuna. And then and more. So you can take PlayStation Four games. All all deals add ons free to play. This is so much better and it's smooth to so collections. Spelunky, I remember that. Road Company, Rocket League. So you can see all the games. Free to play. It's just a quick, quick access, latest, and deals. Do they have the Halloween? So there it is. Here's the Halloween games. Days gone. Y'all probably want to see some of this. Little nightmares, medieval. I loved all this. See all these deals. Some of these games are not even scary. But they're just deals that you can get on the Halloween sale. Still got days left. Halloween is close. So just a couple games. You within. I remember Twisted Metal Black. So you can check all this out. This is just, just a little run through for my first time just checking this out. Just to show y'all. Now let's check something else. The game library. So this is my library. Look, play, but I'm not done playing with some of these games yet. <laughs> See? <laughs> just some of the games I played. Four guys. See, all types of stuff, as you can see. Just a couple things. So, game library, you can search for things that you're looking for. That's the search for that magnifying glass. So, we'll go back. So, that's it. I really love this app. It's much better. And then, um,. Let's go into settings. We already went through the friends list. Look, push notifications. So I'm gonna definitely have those on. Voice chat, voice chat connection. You can sign in on PlayStation 5, link the console to the app, account information. So that's basically it. It's a smooth out. So if you guys get stuck, I'll walk y'all through it in the comments. But I'm going to go ahead and jump on some Ghost of Tsushima because I'm at the end game. The raids come out tomorrow. I'm excited for that to see how that goes. And then we got Halloween. So I hope it was helpful. But you guys can download it if you want to. But for me, I don't see it coming out. It's, it never came out for me for the Google Play Store. This was like a quick and easy method to get access to it. And uh, I just thought I'd share it so everyone else out there who probably want to get, to get access to this new app can have access to uh, the new features and everything like that. So if you guys have questions in the comments, uh, I'll be able to get to them when I get the chance. And then, as, as usual, everything that I mentioned is just going to be in the description for a couple steps. And then the link will be there as well. But just as you can see, it's completely safe. I didn't have any problems with my phone or anything like that. And... Uh, I went through it first just to make sure to test it so that you guys are not in danger and I'm not trying to endanger anyone's devices and break y'all phones. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's basically it. I really like this app and I'm excited to use it throughout the day to keep up with notifications and all that stuff. So um, I'm sure with the PlayStation 5 coming out, we'll be able to see what features this app will be able to do in and just in correlation with everything that it has to offer, whatever it does. But um, it's going to be perfectly useful for the PlayStation 4 and just going forward. So I'm so glad that they came out with this. So now we got everything in one app and we don't have to worry about keeping two separate apps just to message.